Look out, Sony! Hawkeye is taking aim at you, and he never misses. On August 20th, Hollywood was rocked when reports surfaced that Sony and Disney couldn't come to terms on a new agreement to keep Tom Holland's Spider-Man in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Thank you, Mr. Stark. But I'm, I'm good. You're good? Good? How are you good? Unless the circumstances change dramatically, it looks like the 23-year-old Holland is done showing up in the MCU movies after five appearances over the past three years, beginning with 2016's Captain America Civil War and ending with 2019's Spider-Man Far From Home. The vast majority of people involved, including Marvel Studios head Kevin Feige and Holland himself, have kept quiet so far on the bombshell news, but one of the Avengers has spoken out. Jeremy Renner has played Clint Barton, also known as Hawkeye, in the MCU for eight years since first appearing in 2011's Thor, took to Instagram on August 21st to vent his feelings on the controversial subject. He uploaded a still of himself in Avengers Endgame with a caption that reads, Hey Sony Pictures, we want Spider-Man back to the real Stan Lee and Marvel, please. Thank you. Congrats. Spider-Man rocks. Hashtag bow and arrow emoji, please. Poor grammar and odd hashtagging aside, it's clear that Renner is clamoring for a new Spidey deal and that he falls on the Disney side of the dividing line. Renner has many irons in the fire, including starring in major Hollywood films, launching a musical career, and appearing in some slightly strange Jeep commercials. But it's obvious that Disney and Marvel offer the actor his steadiest gig. The man knows how hard it can be to find work in Hollywood, having been a makeup artist early in his career to make ends meet at a time where he couldn't find casting anywhere. Thankfully, Renner's place in the MCU is locked tight, as he's slated to star on the upcoming Marvel series Hawkeye, set for release on the Disney Plus streaming service sometime in the future. Some say it's smart of Renner to not look a gift horse in the mouth and instead come to Disney's defense after Sony has put the blame on the House of Mouse. But it's also possible that he just really likes the new Spider-Man movies and doesn't want to deal with a disaster like The Amazing Spider-Man 2 again. Too bad about that spider guy. Too bad he's disappeared. Seems like everybody really needs him. After the events of Avengers Endgame and Spider-Man Far From Home, the web-slinger seemed poised to take on a central role in the MCU by continuing Tony Stark's legacy and keeping the memory of his late mentor alive. Unfortunately, placing Peter Parker at the center of the MCU may have been a misstep on the part of Marvel's Feige, as it arguably puts Disney at a distinct disadvantage in negotiations with Sony. With Sony having the sole film rights to Spider-Man, writes the company as held since 1999 when Marvel was holding a licensing fire sale to stave off bankruptcy, Disney was already on the wrong side of the corporate power struggle. Setting Spider-Man up to become an Avenger and a key cog in the future of the franchise may have only made matters worse. Now they've set up a story that may well be unfinished depending on how things shake out. Hopefully, Renner's plea for help is the first of many public comments by Marvel-related figures on the Marvel-Sony split. After all, this is the social media age where everyone and their mother lets loose their every thought online. The major players have been decidedly quiet on the subject thus far, though fans are surely waiting with bated breath to hear what Tom Holland himself has to say. It would also be very interesting to hear what Marvel head honcho Feige has to say after having Spider-Man ripped from his future MCU plans after writing the ship for Sony in the first place. For now, Marvelites will have to be happy with Hawkeye taking his aim and shooting his shot. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Looper videos about the MCU are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.